Hey there, pen friends. Welcome to the channel again. It's your host, Amy, and I am back with another PenVenture exclusive overview slash review. The current project that we have today for all of you is a project that took well over a year in works, and it all started with my usual visit to Italy, mostly to Naples, the birthplace of Leonardo Officina Italiana. As I was talking with Salvatore in his workshop, I found a rod of material which I thought it's very, very interesting and beautiful. And actually, I have that exactly rod with me today. And this is the actual rod of material that was sitting on the table. And I grabbed this and I said, can you polish this to see how this material can look made up into a pen and of course he polished the material what we have here is purple ebonite and you can take this into direct sunlight and you have a very interesting and beautiful bright purple if you take this indoor you have a very rich burgundy purple which is deep and this material has a lot going on I know the camera is all over the place with the focus, but bear with me. We stumble upon this great material and we spoken a little bit about the details of such a project. And I told him, I really want an oversized pen. At that time, the Momento Zero Grande wasn't introduced and he actually showed me a few blueprints of the Grande. And I said, okay, I want that one. The rest is only time waiting to hear about this project. Well, it got finalized and I have it here with me, although it's been selling on our website for quite some time. Let's unbox this pen and show you what we have inside the box. This is your usual booklet from the Momento Zero Grande series. This is the card with the warranty and the informations of gold content of the nib, 14 karat, your standard ink bottle, and this is where we have the pen, Momento Zero Grande Desert Rose. I've chosen the name Desert Rose because first of all, I'm a huge fan of the song Desert Rose from Sting. And second, one day when I was searching for the song, I found out that there is actually a plant which is called Desert Rose, well, nicknamed Desert Rose, and the plant is called Dadenium Black Rose, and that color of that rose is identical to this pen. So, here we have Desert Rose. There are some design aspects that are not the same with your usual Grande, and here, one of the major changes is the ends of the pen on the Grande and this is the 2019 Momento Zero Grande coffee. We have pointy ends and on the Desert Rose those are flat or rounded. Another design feature that is not the same is the cap band but we go to, into details a little bit further and we start with the finial which is shaped like a dome. Then we have the clip, and this is the standard clip that you have on the Grande as well. It's very flexible and has the small wheel that helps you clip the pen by any fabric of choice. Then we have the ring. And on this ring, there is the name of the pen, Desert Rose. This is done very elegant and not in your face to scream the name of the pen. Then we have this part of the cap that goes along from the ring and this is not beveled or doesn't have a step back like on your normal Grande. We have here the pen body and this is very much the same with a Grande. The only thing different is the blind cap finial, which is shaped like the cap into a dome. 
What I almost forgot to say is that I said to Salvador that I love pants that are a bit heavier and justify the size according to the weight. So we decided to add a little bit of weight to the pan. First of all, I was thinking about adding some weight to the filling system to make it a little bit more interesting and solid when you grip the pan. But I've seen that doing the adding of the weight to the filling system makes the pan a little bit back heavy and that was not what I was looking for. So we decided to bore the inner cap and the inner barrel a little bit less than your usual grande. So now the pan feels solid and the weight is distributed all over the pan making it feel very very solid and interesting. The nib equipped on this pen it's the Bach 14 karat size 6 gold nib. It's inscripted with the Leonardo logo and it's available in extra fine, fine, medium, broad, stub and elastic fine. This is fueled by an ebonite feed, friction fitted nib. Now I think it's good to mention that there is another version of this pen made in rose gold color trim which I have here with me. Initially we decided to have the rose gold option available only for pre-order pens but due to the current things that are going on worldwide and you probably guess we had time to take pre-orders for a long period and we decided to offer this option till this day. Although all of the fabrication for the entire collection is done, we have a few pens left in the rose gold trim and I think those are equipped with elastic fine nips. So if you want one, we have a few of them in stock, not many. At the time of the recording of this video, we have like seven pens of which three are in rose gold and the rest of them are in rhodium. Moving forward, we have the section which is the same like any Momento Zero Grande. It has this ring. Then we have a part of the section which is smaller that flares out. Then there is the barrel which starts a little bit chunkier and thicker and gradually papers in towards the end knob. On this barrel we have the engraving Leonardo Officina Italiana and the number of pen and this is a limited edition of only 30 pens so this is number 01 of 30 and this is my personal pen and now let's see the filling system and this is a captured big converter which most can call it a piston because it's not coming off and it has a huge incapacity. It's easy to wash, easy to operate. And another interesting feature is the fact that once you hit the top, it starts to skip. And this offers the possibility of not breaking the rod if you tight the knob too strong or too hard. Like all Momento Zero Grandes, we have a end knob that is removable and you can operate the filling system without removing the barrel. And I think this is it. Now let's have a size comparison and a writing sample. And here is the pen sitting next to other pen models, capped and uncapped. We have from left to right. ASC Bologna Extra, Visconti Opera Master, we have the Desert Rose in Rhodium, then we have the Momento Zero Coffee Grande, then we have the Desert Rose in Rose Gold Trim, Visconti Homo Sapiens Pen Venture Exclusive, and last but not least we have a Momento Zero in Arco Verde. The overall sizes of the pen are closed 148 millimeters, posted 169 millimeters, 
Then we have the overall weight of the pen, fully inked, 38 grams. Leonardo Lento Zero Grande Desert Rose. Then we have the ink, and this is something that I oftenly use with this pen, color verse. Red shift. The nib is 14 karat gold medium. Now let's do the sentence. The quick brown fox jumps. The lazy dog. As you can see, the nail performs really, really nice. Let's try some flex. We do have a little bit of give, but this is not flex, and probably your best bet will be to go with an elastic fine if you want some line variation. Let's have one pass for wetness. This is quite quite wet but this is a nib that I personally adjusted and tailored to my needs and you can do that by telling me in an email if you want so reverse and this is a fine in reverse a little bit of scratch but nothing major I hope you enjoyed the writing sample and to conclude everything about this project in a few words it's a labor of love it's something that I've personally can say that I've left behind. And this is the purpose of having a passion. To share it with people like you and also to leave behind something that will stand the test of time. I've enjoyed creating this pen, I've enjoyed owning this pen and now I'm enjoying sharing the experience with you all. I hope you enjoyed this video and find it useful. Don't forget to subscribe to the PenVenture YouTube channel and give this video a thumbs up to help us with the algorithm to reach out to many people that have the same passion like me and you. Down below you will find links for the pen. We have a few of them left. If you're interested, you can go there and choose the one you like. Also below you will find links for my social media accounts and my website. My name is Emmy, and I look forward to seeing you next video.